things I wish I knew before moving in with my boyfriend. Number one, the apartment is going to be the ugliest place you've ever seen on the face of the earth. None of your stuff goes together. It's his leather. It's his navy blue sheets. It's your stunning pastels. You're going to compromise. You're going to enter your sage green era. It's going to be beautiful. Girl dinner. It's over. Um, This one was really a shocker. You're going to start betting on everything. What's the over under on us going out tonight? What's the spread on you doing the dishes? Have fun with it. Laundry is now like a huge thing. Are you sharing a hamper? Are you keeping it separate? If you are, what does that mean? Are you good? Who's doing it? Because like you don't need to be Betty homemaker the whole time, but if he's gonna do it, just know it's gonna be all colors together and just cold. And finally, toilet paper. There's never gonna be enough. You're gonna be the only one buying it. And if it's anything less than two ply, you will not hear the end of it. Hey, you guys don't mind I brought Jeffrey, right? Say hi. Sorry, he got banned from SoundCloud this morning. So what are you guys up to? I feel like it's been like two years. We were, I'm trying to include you and you're making it really hard for me. How's your parents divorce? It's fine, you can say it in front of him. He has literally no idea what's going on right now. I would have left him at home, but he hates being alone with his thoughts. Maybe Jeffrey has a friend I could set you guys up with. All his friends are just like him. Jeffrey! What? Oh. I'd be down. I absolutely do not want to do that. What do you have in mind? I want to see if you can come up with a plan. No worries. You should definitely be worried. I'm around. I'll be out tonight if you would like to meet up and have sex. They say I'll let you know. This is absolutely the last time you'll ever hear from them. We should do drinks soon. I can't tell if you're hot enough for me to plan a full date, but I would show up to find out. I'll see when I see you. Farewell. I'm gonna skedaddle. Au revoir. Pleasure. And on to you, I say adieu. Oh, you got something on your shirt? I'm open for feedback. It was good times. My lips are dry. What are we doing now? Go talk to him. Go talk to him. Oh. I think he's in my family. Never mind, I think he's married. Oh, yeah. Twins. Thank you. I saw you flirting with her. <laughs> I wake up refreshed after sleeping through the night because nobody stole my covers or was snoring in my face. Get the bathroom all to myself and the seat is down, like always. I ask a lot of questions to Alexa. Alexa, is it cold outside? She always gives the right answer and never gets annoyed. At work, I zone out while my coworkers complain about their bad dates, spouses, or kids, because I can't relate. For dinner, I take about two minutes to decide what I want to eat. And I meet up with some friends who never interrupt me or ask me to put their belongings in my purse. I impulsively leave because I'm sleepy. I go home and no one is there, which I love because I already recap my whole day to my mother. Before bed, I start an episode of something that I know I'm not going to finish. Then I turn off the lights and let out all the farts I've been holding in since 9 a.m. These are privileges that my boyfriend will not get. No, no, no. Until he's my husband. Number one, phone background. You really think you're more important than my pup? Think again, sweetie. Next, and on a similar note, shared pets. Until you are legally involved with me, his biological mother, that dog is mine and all mine. Next up, a surprise FaceTime with the whole family. It takes me a sec to click into best girlfriend in the world mode. So just give me a little warning. Fourth, calling me out on something gross that I do. Until we are betrothed, as far as you're concerned, I'm absolutely perfect. And finally, talking shit about my family. I can say my sister's crazy. You can't. You're gonna need to find a way to somehow agree with me without saying you agree with me. Same goes for friends. Good luck. Hey, I'm so glad the date went well. Um, here are some things you should think about. Do you like him or do you just like that he likes you? Um, are you excited or is that anxiety? Is he boring or is he just stable? Are you polyamorous or are you just a chronic people pleaser? And were you turned on or did you just kind of have to pee a little bit? You know, you know, and then you'll know. Or come when you least expect it. Like, bam! Did you expect me to hit you with that avocado? Swipe right on everyone. Here, let me see. Go out and talk to people. Let's go outside. Give them an ultimatum. Call me your girlfriend on day one, or we're done. You don't need a boy. You need a man. Let's make a requirement for like regular couples to post a breakup Instagram post when they break up. Like, you know how Love Island couples when they break up, they post this whole like instagram thing about how they're going their separate ways well like we need that for people we went to high school with why'd you break up i can't be doing the fbi work to see you know why you deleted your pictures together i need to know full story because i'm nosy